Um, are, and this can go for either of you as well. Are you annoyed, well actually Robbie, if you can ask, answer this first. Are you annoyed when an actor gets through to you on the phone? I don't mind emails. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I freely give out my card with that address and get emails and answer them. Phone calls, it's, tar it's tough because we're busy. And so to get on the phone with an actor asking w just whatever th it might be, how do I get an agent, or whatever the question might be. It's just, if it's during the day, generally we're in the midst of something, and so it can be, you never know what the timing is, so it can be a little off-putting. Go for the email. Lori? I totally agree. Uh, the phone is not a good idea. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just not. And, um, and you're going to annoy more people. I mean, don't do that. E I'm sorry, people have called long distance and have asked, oh. you know, um, to yeah. call back. And just, really? Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, the email or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your pet peeves um, in an audition? If I um, bring you straight in for a producer read and you say, I haven't really had a chance to look at the material, or I just got this, or just a bunch of excuses, I want to strangle you. Don't do that, ever, 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 even if it's true. You know, you don't make excuses. Just go for it, you know. Um, so that's one, um, not being prepared. I think even though we have everything is um, online submission and you know, we have your picture um, electronically. I say still walk in the room with the picture. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. There are people that still want to hold and touch and feel. Um, and then it's, it's good to be able to refer to um, your resume while you're in the room as well. Um, that, the, that's the main thing, preparation and then making excuses before you start, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that probably applies to any job you interview for. Don't start it off with excuses. Mm -hmm. Go in there and take your time and, and do your best work. Um, I, I'm old school. I love a hard copy of a picture yeah. and resume. And, uh, and it, it's always very funny to me when actors said, oh, I, I didn't know you'd need that. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. And, um, <laughs> or, you know, didn't my agent send it over? Well, you know, agent's not going to pay a messenger to bring a hard copy of a, of a picture resume over it. It makes no sense. So that means we download it from the computer. Some people come off the computer looking really good, but it's not the same as a hard copy. And um, always carry them with you. You want to give them out. If people want them, why wouldn't you want to hand one to somebody who wants it? So that's, there again, it seems obvious, but it is a, a smart thing to do. And nowadays, the pictures are cheap. I mean, color pictures are cheap and that you can look good and you want to give, they're not cheap. Oh. <laughs> they're not cheap? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're cheaper than they used to be. They're cheaper than they used to be and, and, uh, and the color pictures look really nice. I mean, they, they look really nice and um, yeah, I'm sorry if I, I thought they were a lot, they were a lot cheaper than they used to be, yeah, yeah. And I don't look for a lot of things to separate actors from their money, but pictures is your calling card. I mean, it is very, still very important. How can you help an actor who bombs in an audition? Give them an opportunity to do it again. Um, Give them notes, feedback. I mean, I do it all the time because, again, you know, for me, if I see something, you know, in you, I'm going to spend the time to try to, Bring it, bring it out, you know, and take the amount of time that I'm able to. Just depends on how the day is stacked up. But um, I think that's the main thing: give them an opportunity. People come in, they get nervous, you know. You have a bad day, you have a bad audition, you know. Um, I think that's the best thing. Yeah, same thing. And if you're if you're lucky enough to be testing at a studio network, and you start off, and you know, it's okay to say, "Wait, can I start again?" And we will always say yes. And then you just feel, I wouldn't keep doing that. But, it, but one time, <laughs> yeah, one time, no one would ever, producers, they'll always say, sure, start it again. And then, you, you know, you have a second chance. 
because if you don't do that, your whole audition, you're probably thinking, oh, I'm off track. This is not what I want to do. And, and you know, it'll, you'll throw the performance. And that, by the way, will happen to everybody, but you want to minimize how many times that happens. And I think, too, what you don't want to do is get all the way to the end and say, can I do that one more time? Because then it's easy for them to say, no, you know, we've seen it. We, I think we got what we need because there are people waiting on the other side to get in. So on that same note, when is an audition overdone or when is it too much? When, they, when have they just come in and just, <laughs> just play to the, the balcony? <laughs> that's, that's my phrase, play to the balcony. Yeah, it's the scenery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, a lot of actors who come from New York who have done theater tend to play to the balcony. And we're, we're film, that ca the camera's right there, the microphone's right there. You don't need to play to the balcony. And you will scare people off as a theater <laughs> actor if that's what you constantly do. And they'll go, well, that's a theater actor. They're not going to make the transition. And when really is, it just is make it more intimate. You know? and, and some of your classes, I know, teach that. And, and put you on film and let you watch it, and then you know you learn from that. But that that to me is the biggest mistake with actors coming out of uh, theater or high school or something like that is they just they're just too big. Or when they come in with a bunch of props, you know, or <laughs> dressed, you know, as a cop. <laughs> Not necessary. Dark colors, but you don't need the whole hat and holster. <laughs> Cops, but a, a hooker is my personal oh, right. favorite, yes. When I, when I was casting Hill Street Blues, we had a lot of hookers and um, just bizarre clothes. Like I couldn't visualize, you know, what you would look in a shorter skirt or something. You don't really have to wear it, you know. But, you know, just, just wear clothes that make you feel appropriate, but don't go too far. It's just not necessary. And I've had a couple, uh, a network president once said to me, beware of actors bringing props. And I remember that. And... Um, so don't bring props, don't bring the phone, don't bring a gun, don't, you know, <laughs> no props. <laughs>